Happy days, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm John Rone, Sophisticated Redneckery TV. Spring break has started. We're on the road, heading to my folks' house, which is down in Sunset Beach area, North Carolina, which is kind of North Myrtle Beach, right? North of North Myrtle Beach in North Carolina. So we're gonna be hitting Little River, South Carolina, hopefully doing some fishing and going out, see if we can hit some wrecks and jigging for some stuff, running the jetties and going from there. So we'll pick you up either tonight or tomorrow when we get down there. But thanks for joining you guys. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe to that channel. We have awesome fun stuff going on all the time, particularly now that spring is here. And give us a thumbs up on this video. Let us know that you like it. All right, y'all, appreciate it. So you want to be a YouTuber. Part of the battle of YouTubing and tra traveling around with a boat is gas. This is stop number one. We're going to see how many we have in this trip, and I bet you I'll have probably eight tanks of gas, eight Phillips at this, and we love our Wawa's. By the way, if you don't know, the Wawa water is amazing, and it's free water. Go in, just get whatever you want. Free water and ice. So we've had to take a detour, and we're going through pretty much like Emporia. So look. Very low income areas. And the boys aren't used to this. I'm sorry, but we're not from low income areas. This is a this is a lesson in itself. And the boys were asking, why is everybody sitting on their front porch? Because they're hanging out on their front porch. It's what they do for fun. And sometimes detours are very good for teaching you things. And I told the boys, I said, you know, you're very lucky and we're very blessed to have the things that we have. <sighs> Don't think they've ever seen the ghetto. You've seen the ghetto now, haven't you boys? Yup. Are you lucky? Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, sometimes detours can teach you a lot about life. Clark, what are you doing? This is so dangerous. We have no business being in an area like this. This will just uh, make us appreciate what we have. <laughs> Roll them up. Hey, wave to him. Say thanks. Thumbs up. Yeah, dude, you got one. My phone. <laughs> I love having the kids do things I used to do as a kid. That's so fun. And another one being go two for three. Some of them go wah wah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah! I did it! Two for, you're not, they not Two for three! Way to go, B! <laughs> the simple things amuse me all. I'm so sorry, but how fun is that? So awesome. To all you truckers out there, guys, riding the, riding the roads, we love you. All right, so since we filled up 178 miles ago, fun fact for us to have to deal with, here is the gas mileage, my average fuel economy right now for the last 178 miles. We just filled up again, so here it is. Boom. 6.7 miles a gallon. That's right. All right, guys, we're back down at Sunset Beach, North Carolina. You can see the boat wrench right over there. Yeah, you ready to do some fishing or what? Hey, what do you, what do you think, little buddy? Good. Whoa, Daddy needs to watch where he's going. So we're coming out here. You can see we're leaving land behind us. We're heading out to the great wide open. And I'm not even watching where I'm going. We're just jumping waves. All right, everybody. We are out here on our first wreck today. We decided to come out here. And the cool thing about South Carolina is like I we came out here last time, they have designated wreck spots. So it's pretty cool that we can come out and, you know, they kind of show you where the fish are to start. Yeah, daddy, got got his, daddy got his first fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. And b has got something over here. This is a nice fish. Oh, thank you. I see that. A nice sea bass is huge. A teeny sea bass is huge when you're used to catching those. Oh, uh, that's not teeny. It's a nice. That is teeny, but it's a nice little one. 
shot is not Some key compared to the one I caught earlier. Snag him. Nice! I think that's the same one. Bill bigger, sea bass. Monster! Where would yeah. we put it? In one of the in one of the rod holders. That's a little bit better. Yeah, little mini mini sea basses. You're just filming. Saw that hit. That's the best fish to there, right there. Okay, just hit the hit the uh, picture nice button. Fish. Hit the picture That's button a nice in the video. We got head shakes. Yeah, you got it. There you go. Is on? Oh! oh. 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 That's what you want. Is it on? Yeah. Let's keep them. Is it on? Look at the red dot. Is there a red dot? Easy. All right, what do you got? I think it broke. That guy is. He's pretty. That thing was a fight. Yeah, it's the biggest fish of the day right there. Oh, you got That's beautiful. Right? Take your hands and put them on. It actually feels like a big fish. Oh my god. Oh god, B. Normal size, this is about the normal size sea bass we're getting right here. I'm not making any video because I'm not filming. There you go. What do you got there? Nice sea bass, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna release them. All right, cool. Let's see what Chase has got going on over here. What you got going on, buddy? Not much. I just dropped down, but let's see if I can get one on camera for you. Cool. There's some cool new life jackets you got there. Boys actually grew out of their life vests. We had to get them new life vests. It's always hey, something. I'm getting bites. Keep filming. Keep filming you? Yeah. You feeling nibble nibble? Yep. Remember, just leave it down there. You don't have to move it at all. Once it hits the bottom. So here's what we're we're working with the double structure on the right you can see on the left side of the side imaging this is structure um, and again over here we're right over top of this structure and you'll see the double double red when we're right on top of it but that's what all since we're not moving this is what you see and that's a little fish to, uh, barge down there or ship or something they've sunk down there and that's what we're working on fishing all these bait fish is what we're catching so we want some bigger fish I don't see a lot of them in here, but haven't seen any big fish yet. Not even Chase, taller. you got the serious bait thing going on there, huh? Yeah, I'm kind of tired of holding the rod, so I'm just taking a break. Got the new bait thing working. And there's literally a cup holder on it. There it is. And something for the knife. I like that. Something for the knife and this. Good job. Oh, you got a fish? This is a nice fish. Oh, okay. Pulling on him. Bigger sea bass. That's a, wait, measure him. No, he's not even close. All right, so we're sitting here. Oh, I got to, look at this. I got to fish on while I'm here. Come on, Chase. Come get it, buddy. Come oh, get ready. Real, 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 Get him in. Oh, where the heck is he? Oh, he's a nice sea bass, but he's not a keeper, but he's a nice one, Chase. <laughs> that ah, was cool. I was sitting here uh, about to tell you guys about the structure I got over. I finally found this decent structure. And I think this is where we caught the two flounder last year. And you got 10. 10 incher? Yeah. Right there. All right. Nice one. Let him go. There he goes. Oh, they have to be 13 the, inches. They used to be 10, though. As I'm teaching Chase how to jig, he, he gets one. And immediately when you hand me the rod. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's it. Oh, I snagged the little snagged boy. Snagged him. He's gonna hook up. Oh, my. Look at that. Second, oh, you get the structure, guys. You find this structure, they're hitting right away. What the heck? It's in his they're gill, getting bigger. In, into the skin. That's we nice, snagged him. That's the nice actual sea bass. That might be 13. Here, let me get that. Hold on, let me get back to work here. Got rods all over the place. Chaos, baby. Chaos ensues. Not bad. All right, so all you young guys out there, here's how you're going to be jigging. Let your bail out until you watch this line go slack right here. Boom, he's on bottom. A little reel, now just start lifting. We don't want to jig too heavy because we're going to snag stuff in this when there's so many fish down there. Don't reel, don't reel. You don't need to reel. Open your bail a little, you're off the bottom again. So open your bail, let it hit the bottom. Good. Now, close. Just start jigging. Let it hit the bottom. Look, boom. Reel just so that when your rod tip gets to the water, boom, reel up a little more. Reel, reel a little bit. Stop. 
There, now you're jigging from there. Take your hand off the reel. Good, now just jig. Give it a little, oh, oh, oh. It's on. Yep, just like that, just like that. You guys saw Chase do it live. Oh yeah, oh crap, that's another, that's another, that's probably a 10. Oh. <laughs> that's 13, that's 13. No, oh, he's that's... not, he's that... 10. That's a nice one though, bud. Here, here. I... That's a nice one, That'd be a... was that a fun fighter? Yeah. Good job, buddy. He was, he, he was probably like the redfish, but just a little smaller. That's so cool. Daddy? This is one of my favorite lures, y'all, right here. Can't tell you the secret name of it, but the pink and silver. A little but pink on the back. Will, we will tell you where we get it. No. Dave's. No, we didn't get that at Dave's. I brought this one with me. Oh my. All right, guys, today we're fishing with our white bird series, favorite rods. We got the white bird with our spinning reels. We have the favorite old salty combo with our 3000 series reel on there it's the old salty inshore 7-3 fast action we catch a lot of fish out here with that reel brooks has got my other jig and rod which is just fun chase has got the um shimano with the white bird as well i love the white birds y'all if you film for youtube or you just film for yourselves it's awesome because you can see the action of the rod it makes it a little more fun Yeah, grunting away. It's one of those little rainbow grunts. Oh, Chase is on. Crap! I was not ready. Crap, he got off. Oh. <laughs> but, shows you, you can come here offshore, inshore, offshore. We're only two miles offshore. Um, and you, you know, you can use light tackle. And it's really fun, because that's where we're catching light stuff, even if you catch something bigger. And I'll tell you, we've caught 28, 30 inch fish on these, on these uh, rods, so. Um, the only thing that's ever broke one of these favorite rods on me is a huge stingray. Brooks got broke off. Uh, you can see that in the video up here. I'll put it right up here. That was a big one. Snapped the rod right in half. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. that was a nice fish. Brooks' rod just bent in half. Maybe we'll get some bigger ones moving around. We're going to fish today because the winds are 30 mile an hour winds coming tomorrow. Look at these waves coming in. I don't know if you guys can see them. Hold on, what do you got? Oh no, I think it's a nice sea bass. Oh, we got a toady. No. That's a huge toadfish. Look at that Frickin toady. toady. That's a big toadfish for us. Look at the red eyes when you put them in the sun. That's toadfish, y'all. Boom. Okay. Hey, Chase is going to do the toadfish chuck. I want to see how far he can throw <laughs> this toadfish. A 10 box, it drops off behind you. Oh. Only reason we do that is because it's a toadfish, y'all. We don't do that with all the fish. We respect our fish, but we can't stand toadfish. Get out of his way. Dude, you got a, you got the coral reef. Whoa. That's so cool. That's a huge fish. Oh, that was so reef. heavy. So cool. That's pretty cool. We gotta bring that back to our tank. No, we will not. Can you come to the you want me to catch pinches so we can cook them or toss them out there? Nope. You want me to? Nope. No? I thought you just said we wanted a pinfish rod. Or at least one pinfish. That is a big and beautiful fish. If I could get him out of there, no, no. I would show you, but I'm not gonna. As we untangle, he is putting bait back on, getting more fish. Nope. Nice, beautiful ocean out here right now. It's not that choppy, but this morning it was super choppy. If you know what that means. Chase just got Get him down here to, now. Hand it over. That's not ginormous. He's probably 10 inches again. <gasps> it felt, it looked big. It put up right. Ow. Come on. All right, so it's definitely a tough go out here. We're gonna we're gonna shut it down and head back inland because the we. We found the structure. We can't get cooperation from the fish. Caught a bunch of small ones, but now we're gonna head back in because we're just getting tired of all the little ones and no bites. So sometimes you gotta do that. 